Sally Hemings. Sally Hemings was born in Virginia in 1773. It is believed that her parents were Betty Hemings and John Wales. Betty was an enslaved, mixed-raced woman owned by John. John was also the father of Thomas Jefferson's wife, Martha. Sally came to live with the Jeffersons as an infant when John died. Treated as property, she and her mother were part of Martha's inheritance. Martha died on September 6, 1782. In 1784, Thomas became ambassador to France and moved to Paris. He left his two younger daughters, Mary and Lucy, at his home, Monticello, in Virginia. When Lucy died in 1784 of whooping cough, Thomas sent for Mary. When nine-year-old Mary arrived in Paris in 1787, she was accompanied by 14-year-old Sally. By the time she was 16, it is believed that Sally and Thomas were in a sexual relationship and she was pregnant with his child. Thomas returned to Monticello with Sally and his children in 1789. The child with which Sally was pregnant was born at Monticello and died in infancy. Sally, and probably Thomas, had six other children, Harriet, who died at two years old, Beverly, a daughter who died soon after birth, Harriet II, Madison, and Eston. There are no known images of Sally, and she left behind no writings. Beverly was allowed to leave in 1822. Madison, Harriet, and Eston were freed in Thomas's will. Harriet was the only enslaved female set free in this document. Sally was never freed, but Thomas's daughter Martha allowed her her time. This was a common practice of allowing older enslaved individuals to live freely with family away from their owner. Sally died in 1835. In 1998, DNA was tested that showed a link between the Jefferson family and the Hemings descendants. In 2017, a room believed to be Sally's was discovered. It was close to and accessible from Thomas's bedroom. Please visit www.icantbelieveitsnonfiction.com and don't forget to subscribe.